Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and uh, we've been getting a lot of questions on broadheads during this whole test series. Now, we're trying to get to all of them. We're not going to get to all of them. We're busy people. We work just like y'all. So we get to what we can get. But this one kept coming up, and every, every it almost seemed like every video, this broadhead and the, the jackknife was requested. So without further ado, we got the wasp jackhammer and we went with the select a cut option. This broadhead is pretty cool. Now we've seen, like I said, this has been requested, the jackhammer and the jackknife by wasp a lot. So it perked our attention towards it. I started looking into it. I like the design, so I figured let's get it in the test to see what it can do. This version right here, as you can see, select a cut. It goes between inch and a half and inch and three quarter. And this orange washer, once I get this open, I'll show you how it works. That's all it is to change your cut. Pretty fluid, pretty smooth. Let's get it open and then uh, let's see what it does in that ballistic gel down there. All right, so this broadhead, the blades are held back in flight by an O-ring, as you see here. And it is stated on the package that if your bow shoots over 300 feet per second, to use a second O-ring right behind this one, just to ensure your blades don't open mid-flight. And they do provide an extra, extra O-ring for every broadhead. All right, so as you can see, there's edges machined on here. They're different bevels. When you put this on, this orange ring here controls your cut. So if you want the inch and a half, you'd go to the beveled edge, allowing your blade to low, lay down lower. If you want the inch and three quarter, you go with the higher peak, keeping your blades out. Based on what we've seen through our tests so far, inch and three quarter is going to be a bigger cut, of course. Inch and a half will be a little smaller. The penetration difference is not going to be much. So if you're pursuing bigger game, inch and a half might be the way to go or depending on your your bow setup how much kinetic energy you have all that fun stuff you can design what you want to shoot so maybe slight slightly smaller would be better we that's what we will be shooting today so let me put this on the old gold tip kinetic chaos here and like i said just make sure that lines up okay See, and there's, there's how it looks. So you can see the rounded edges on all the blades. So, as always, Kinetic Chaos, 300 spine. It's 476 grain, total weight arrow. It's a 100 grain broadhead. Shooting it out of my Matthews Triax with the old wake limbs on there. So it's 83 pound draw. We're shooting at 292, well, and a half. Feet per second, 20 yards. So I'm going to run down, turn that tactic cam on so we can get you that slow-mo. And uh, let's see if you guys are as impressed, as curious about this broadhead. So let's go. On 20? Yep. Okay. Yep. Now we already shot the inch and a half at 20 yards. So now this is the inch and three quarter, 20 yards. So let's see what happens. All right, so here we go. Inch and three quarter, wasp, jackhammer. Yep. As I can do it. So this broadhead gives you a choice of inch and a half and inch and three quarter cut. So the difference between the cuts that it, this broadhead offers being inch and a half and inch and three quarter, it's not that different. But you can see how it works here. You got, if you put the beveled edge lined up with your blades, it allows your blades to sweep back, giving you inch and a half. And if you keep the peak lined up with your blades, it keeps your blades out more given inch and three quarter. Now, the penetration difference between these two cuts is bare minimum. I mean, that's 
mate that's less than an inch difference and look at this cut on the back broadhead on the inch and three quarter cut that's a great cut it's a solid smooth cut I mean your inch and a half gives you a great cut too so if you have a, a maybe a youth or someone shooting a lower poundage bow the inch and a half cut may be a better broadhead because it's it's going to take less force and less kinetic energy to do the job but this inch and three quarter if your bow is capable of shooting it i would choose the inch and three quarter the, it's a bigger cut it's a i mean it's not lacking much in penetration but this broadhead is pretty unique given a very simple rotation of a ring on the back of your broadhead to control your cut to what you need it to be or what you're comfortable with. I can see why we had so many requests of the Wasp Jackhammer. Now the other one, the Wasp Jackknife, we'll be doing that one soon and I think we're going to pair it up with a Sever 1.5 because as you guys know the Sever 2.1 we, we were not impressed with but I've heard a lot of feedback that the 1.5 is a better broadhead so we're going to try that out and we'll put it up against the jackknife and see what happens. But this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and as always, give this video a thumbs up, share it, subscribe if you haven't, and drop comments below, especially those that were waiting for this broadhead. What did you think about the select cut? Did it perform how you thought it would? And let us know other broadheads you'd like us to test, and we will try our best to get as many of them done as we can. But Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, catch you next time.